Hello everybody, I uh, just got back from the ranch tonight, uh, doing a little cleaning. I uh, brought the SIG 320 out, and that worked great. And I brought my Ruger Wrangler out, and I just wanted to uh, share a couple thoughts I had while I was cleaning it. Um, when you're cleaning uh, this particular gun anyway, um, I really notice the difference between what kind of ammunition I'm running. Um, if I'm, when I first started out, I was running Winchester ammunition and I was like, this thing is horrible to clean. It's, it's not even worth shooting. Um, but now I'm running the, the, uh, auto match to it. Uh, it's just clean right here. The, what they call the cone forcing cone between the, the, uh, the barrel and the, when the bullet travels from, from the, uh, uh, I don't even know what you call this thing here. Really. Cylinder. Um, into the into the barrel is a, a cone there. It it uh, you know, it's on an angle, so it forces it into the thing. Anyway, uh, it was all laded up and everything with the Winchester ammunition. Um, using this other different ammunition, it's just a breeze to clean. I mean, I really don't even have to clean the bore. It was just like a little bit of. A little bit of ash in there, but I ran a brush through it, and then I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna scrub these chambers because they get a little dirty. But uh, yeah, it definitely makes a difference what kind of ammunition you use. Um, this gun here has probably got, I don't know, I probably have five thousand rounds through it. I don't I have no idea. A lot, a lot of rounds, and I had it out tonight, and uh, after about three or four uh, you wouldn't call it magazines but three or four cylinders full I was hitting whatever I wanted and I get these rosewood grips those are really sweet uh, but yeah uh, cleaning it up good I'm just letting it soak right now everything's all Hose down with some uh, poppies. Got the old poppies number nine. And then I've been kind of a fan of this Lucas gun oil. Especially just because of the, the container it comes in. You just tap it. You just tap it on something like you, know, you want a part. You just tap it. There you go. I don't want it there, but I'm just explaining. But anyway. This has been a really good gun. Um, I paid two hundred fifty dollars for this in the middle of the pandemic, and uh, I've enjoyed every dollar of it. And I dressed it up with these grips. I think I paid uh, less than twenty dollars shipped here. They had a special and they had a coupon, but that really makes it makes it a uh, you know. It's fun. I painted the front sight. And, uh, yeah, it's a good gun. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, I think, you know, the economy's kind of slowing down a little bit. Of course, we had the, first we had the ammo shortage, and then things picked back up, and now we're going to have the economy slow down, I think, so we're still going to be shooting cheap. So... I'm all in on the 22 for the foreseeable future. Plus, you know, you go out in the backyard. It's it's not it's not real loud. I haven't had any complaints from the neighbors. I don't push it. But anyway, that's that, and uh, enjoy.